tutorial is and in this video I'm going to show you how you can connect Postgres SQL with coordinator 3 so in this uh, tutorial I will show you step by step how you can do CRUD operation that means insert update and delete so in the front end we will be using coordinator 3 and in the back end that means for uh, database storage we will be using Postgres SQL uh, it's very common that with coordinator there is close combination with MySQL but here in this case I will show you with Postgres SQL and as you know that Postgres SQL is also open source but that is for enterprise level application so let me show you how to do all the things first you need to in, uh, install Postgres SQL Postgres SQL download so let's download on our windows machine we will download this and install so since it's my uh, windows machine so i will click on windows and then download install now. and remember by the time this video is recorded the current supported version for coordinator 3 is below 9.6.24 the reason is, as you can see, the latest version of Postgres SQL is 14.2 by the time this video is recorded. But the problem is that uh, in database connection, MD5 is not supported in this one. So rather, I will opt for uh, 9.5.25. Uh, and maybe by the time you later you see this video, so. Uh, coordinator might have upgraded with their version of uh, database connection uh, password string so let's do one thing just i'm going to download and my machine is uh, 64 bit so i will select this one but almost the syntax is same whether you are using 14.2 uh, or uh, this version that means uh, 9 version so it's installing now we're downloading here 9.5 version okay so now it's uh, downloaded let's install it yes now next so sometimes you need to install uh, you need to install microsoft visual c plus plus distributed okay distributable this one only then it may work okay in my case it's already installed or 19 the latest version i think so in my case it's already installed on my machine that's why it didn't ask anything and directly starting installation so next 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 again next and then next then installation started and then let's click on finish once you click on this place then you can select this one and actually it asks you to install uh, related software okay so for that time being we are not going to install any uh, related software so simply we will click on this uh, cancel and we can cancel the button here the installation is already done if you want to check then go to your all applications and then post sql should be here somewhere my sql is mine here yeah you can see this is post sql 9.5 now pg admin 3 let's click on this and yes before that let's finish this then we will proceed eh? okay we don't need to install all these add-ons so just click on cancel and that's it now we are inside here and then click on server right click on this it has got hanged okay now we need to 
provide here password the user by default is postgre okay so let's store password <coughs> sorry admin just i'm giving here password admin that's it so now it's successfully connected and inside server you can see there is databases so already there is uh, database created we will create our own database okay now we, if we go back here then our database name will be items or test whatever so let's keep it items itself so right click here and then new object uh, new object okay here actually so there are two databases one is postgres which is the default one and i will create one more table uh, sorry database here the database name i will just put it here items and click ok so now my this database is created inside this we will create table now in some items we will create tables okay so you have to go to schema and then public inside public you can see it is showing table server zero now right click on this new object and then new table inside table we will uh, name the table name as items okay and then schema public that's fine now let's click on okay so the table is created now inside table we need to create columns here so right click on this and new object new column or new primary key whatever so first let's click on new column here we will pass id data type will be uh, big int let's select big int length is not required then not null now click on ok then title we need to create another column here new column here title data type will be a character writing so let's keep it to 55 and then description here the third one new object new column description okay now data type will be let's keep it varying character varying okay so we have now table ready here now okay we will insert one record and if you right click on these items that means table then script and then create script so here you can see the script is written here so we will write here insert into insert into into public items then uh, id title and then description values 
manually we are entering one data so one then title will be first title then description first description okay now click here for executing the query syntax error near int oh somehow insert into actually it will be insert into not int okay query successfully ran here if we want to check then right click on this and then view data top 100 you can see we have the record here now so that's it in this pg admin that means post grade sql part now let's keep it open and we will install or we will start uh, coordinator 3 okay now let's go to here and download coordinator okay then click on here the link in here my coordinator 3 has been downloaded so just i will copy it from here and we will go to hdocs c drive in my case my zen is inside zen 2 and then zen control start this apache and uh, there is no requirement of mysql that's why i'm not starting that so hd dots then let's create one new folder ci3 now let's paste here Rapid. all right so this is my ci3 now let's go here and localhost slash ci3 okay so successfully my coordinator 3 has started